it's time for you to meet someone. Say hi, Rebecca. It's a tranny! It's a tranny! I'm gonna break you in half and stick you up my butt. Oh god, she's serious! What it is, guys? It's your boy Tyrone Cobble. But that's neither here nor there because today we're here to check out a fractured butthole. Not like on Prawn Hub, the type of fractured butthole. I mean the one in video game form. Yeah, I'm saying y'all send me this mug. Let's do this. And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park. Good morning, South Park. A new vigilante took to the streets last night and has apparently single-handedly taken down the Famboni crime family. Cocoon. Here with more is a midget in a bikini. Tom, I'm standing outside the Boca de Fagaccini where the vigilante declared war on crime in South Park. What? Security camera footage showed a young person farting in people's faces on their balls. It was just terrifying. What? The kid came in and just started farting on people. It was out of nowhere, man. Maybe someone's finally standing up to what's wrong with this city. This new kid's a hero. The kid's a menace, if you ask me. How long before he or she kills an innocent person? What How long before nasty. Daredevil becomes the Punisher? Huh? <laughs> Three seasons? Three seasons! Police called to the scene found a treasure trove of illegal items that they claim might tie the Italian restaurant to a larger crime syndicate. This may be just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Certainly chilling stuff, and there are reports the vigilante possibly had a sidekick? There was thought to be a sidekick, Tom, but further investigation showed it was just some little twerp with diabetes. Thanks, Midget. Oh. Of course, the question on everyone's minds now, who is the farting vigilante? This is going to make us look bad. You fucked up. It wasn't our fault. This kid just came into the restaurant and started farting like there was no tomorrow. All you Italians are supposed to do is move the product. The Chinese and Russians do the rest. Everything has to be discreet and quiet or people are gonna learn the truth. That we put the product into people's drugs and alcohol in order to create more crime. Nigga. You gonna milk a cat's anus? Ew! You just keep doing your part in getting the cheese out on the streets. Is that booty Maybe sweat? I'll start dealing directly with the Russians. Or the Chinese. Or the bar. sixth graders. Oh, man, what a great sleep. Yeah, I haven't slept that well in weeks. <sighs> so... You guys do anything interesting last night? Oh, no, you know, the usual. Just watched some TV and went to bed. Yep, nothing exciting in our b boring lives. Well, then, I guess I'll just be seeing you guys tomorrow. You've got a big day ahead of you, new kid. Get changed into your superhero costume and wait for a message from the king. Ah! The cool. All right, my lord. It's time for us to get the information we need from Classy. Any good superhero should know how to interrogate. Get over to Jimmy's house and find out what she knows. Yeah, nigga, pull a gun on him. Or, like, put him in a rear naked choke. Oh, it's you again. Sup, hero? Don't be farting in my face and shit. Hey, Fast Pass, one of your super homies is here. Oh, hey, new kid. The coon told me he wants you to question the witness, so go ahead. Have at it. Go ahead, new kid. Ask her anything you want. You gotta hit her first. In the face, preferably. Oh, that's smart. Using the silent treatment can really make a witness a a antsy. Not on women. Look, I know y'all need my help and shit, but I ain't talking to you. Go get my medication. Y your medication? Yeah, I can't think straight without my medication. Bitch, you, you ain't gotta diabetic. You go pick up my prescription, all right? What you Until want? you get my prescription, I ain't telling you little heroes fuck on nothing. Well, all right, fine. Looks like you got more work to do, new kid. But before you go back out in the world, I want to show you something that might help your crime fighting. Let's get up to my room, the bed. All right, new kid. It's time to take your superpowers to the next level. Go ahead and stand in the DNA fibrillator. Nigga. All right, new kid. Just stand still, and I'll talk you through this. You got this no life. That should do it, new kid. Hope you have a grasp of it. Now get out there and kick some... Booty. New kid, this is the human kite. You know that little problem you helped me take care of? Well, it's back. Can you come to my house ASAP, please? You made a real mistake when you attacked us. <laughs> you cuties are such meanies. Got his poop on him. <laughs> oh. Oh, did I 
hurt you, hon? Yeah, shit, shit in her face. Poop. Poop down her throat. I need to brush my teeth, like, right now. Can I get you anything else? Huh. Loser. Oh. Damn. Damn. Oh. You really think you're tough shit, don't you? Well, it's time for you to meet someone. Say hi, Rebecca. It's a tranny! It's a tranny! I'm gonna break you in half and stick you up my butt. Oh god, she's serious! Oh! Oh god! Oh my god! What? A thousand people just disliked the picture of me in ballet class on Instagram! I'm totally getting trolled right now! What the F? Heather, why'd you tweet that I was going out with Eric Cartman? I didn't! I'm totally getting trolled right now, too! What the fuck? What the fuck? I just lost all my followers! I have to get to a computer! What the fuck? What the fuck? Hello, new kid. Don't worry. I'm unfriending their Instagrams exponentially. They won't be back for a while. You gotta be careful playing superhero. You can make a lot of enemies. Better not be another trainee. Some boys think girls don't make good superheroes. They don't. What do you think? You think girls are just as good a gamers as you boys? No. No. You like to remain mysterious, huh? Fine. Look, you've got problems, new kid. Whatever you did last night got a lot of people's attention. Bad people. There's a crime boss who's been calling the shots here in South Park, and now that person is planning to run for office. Whatever you did last night scared him. I'm tracking everyone's Instagrams and Facebooks and will continue to cross-reference with Tumblr while monitoring Twitter and LinkedIn. If you need information, just know you can rely on Call Girl. How much? Watch your back, handsome. How much for a filthy frosty snow cone? Thanks for, for coming. It's cone. over here. How much for a filthy Lopez? In the backyard. Or an Arctic snow cone? She says she's a call girl. I'm big! Fuck. Will you deal with him, please? Look, Cousin Kyle, it's that mean kid who beat me up before. Yeah, oh no, somebody stop him. Don't worry, Cousin Kyle, I have developed these super sensors which will make it almost impossible for him to beat us up this time. I have to stay out of this. Just please, please make him go away. Prepare to meet your doom, evil bully kid. I've had it with this yet. Bravo! Get you! Got something for ya. Oh! Yo! This nigga shoots middle fingers. Oh, now it's funny. Okay, okay, that does it. You guys asked for it. And now Human Kite shall use his Hebrew face to call upon the power of the wind. Hikmeo Shigine. Let the strength of the wind make my kite fly and... Oh, Jesus, it came off. Oh, Jesus, my kite just blew up into the tree, Cousin Kyle. Then give up. Don't worry, Super Buddy Cousin. Perhaps I no longer have my kite, but I still have my super weapon. <gasps> And she's a wow! Picking on me. You little shit! Who's picking on you? You gotta beat your mama. Shut up, bitch! I only got me for fear till easily. I think you sprained my nose. I get this, like Ow! I know who's gonna get laser burns next! everything I do. The human kite is about saving people, not about Judaism. And now look at all the damage you've caused. I should press charges against your friends. And look, my kite's up in a tree. I'm sorry. Please, I'll do anything. You are going to let your cousin play with you from now on. Is that clear? Oh, Hell boy, Kyle no. and Sheila says I get to play with you. 
Yes, sometimes you can play with us. Yippee! Now get your cousin's kite out of that tree. You're not playing anymore until you do. Come on, Shugana. Let's get you some back team. Oh, I hate back team because it gets on my fingers and I get eczema from the lidocaine. Well, crap. How are we gonna get that kite down? Sting a little, Bubby. Oh, is it supposed to burn, Aunt Sheila? Because it's stinging and it's burning. That's how you know it's working. Look, Bubby, they got your kite out of the tree. Yay, I can fly again. Time to be the biggest superhero, Cousin Kyle, and forgive our new neighbor. Why don't you two take a nice photograph together? Okay, I forgive you, new kid. Say, <laughs> human kite from an alternate universe. Ah, new kid, I see you've also come to assist in assuring Classy's cooperation. Please, after you. Uh, hello, we're picking up some medicine for a friend. Oh, is your friend looking for an energizing mental feeling or more of a full body high? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'll send over our expert bud tender who can help you out. Hey, you want to get high? Oh, hey, Eric. Oh, wow, Tally. Thought you went to rehab. Yeah, I did, but now I'm back in South Park. Clean and sober, almost a year. Clean and sober, no drugs at all. And I tell you what, I don't miss it. And you work here in a pot store. Cannabis, Eric, and yeah, it's great. Now I get high helping people cure their insomnia, back pain, migraines, and stress naturally. Did you know that ancient Chinese gave cannabis to their infants for teething? Huh. I have an addictive personality, so I'm cool without it. And now I got a kid with my lady, so better to stay on the straight and narrow, you know? You have a kid, right. It turns out I had one the whole time. I was too high to realize. Now I'm holding down a job and paying the rent. But I'm also doing good helping people find the herbal remedies they need to combat all the modern stresses of a job and taxes and traffic and a wife breathing down my neck about an apartment in a town that we got a leak. Why, why can't you fix it? I'm not a plumber, bitch. I'm a towel, not a fucking plumber. <laughs> okay, we're, we're here to pick up our friend's medicine. Her name is Classy. Oh, classy. Yeah, classy with a Y with the clit hanging off it, coming around and licking the shit out of the C. No, 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 no. It's uh, classy with a dick hanging off the I that's fucking the L out of the ASS. Oh, that classy. Sure, I got her order. Yeah, she, she, she likes the banana kush for her back pain and some of the platinum OG to wait. What the fuck? Who put the chillax cushion with the OG mellow bliss? What the fuck, you retards? <laughs> People don't want to mix their mellow with their chill. They'll get all fucked up. Not fucked. Hey, hey, Tally, it's cool, relax. No, it is not fucking cool. I'm trying to run a legitimate business here, and my back hurts. I can't sleep. I got no appetite. The shitty town is so fucked up. We gotta buy all our product from fucking sixth graders. And who knows what the shit they're putting in it. And then to top it off, I got a couple of little dick liquors coming in the bus store telling me to fucking relax. Fuck you. You relax. Shit, <laughs> Uh oh. Now for my best attack. My best attack. Hey guys. Oh. Hey, how you been, Eric? Oh, you're a cool guy, man. Oh, I'm psyched to see you, man. Yeah, this is for classy. Yeah, I threw in a couple hash nuggets and some granddaddy purple shatter on the house. But come by anytime for a hookup. See, here's the new kid now. You got Classy's prescription? Damn well, better hand my prescription. Well, it's about motherfucking time. Praise Jesus, I need this shit bad. If I don't get my medication, I lose my motherfucking mind. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right, all right. That's much fucking better. All right, listen. The place y'all niggas need to go is you store it. That's where they taking the cats, you know what I'm saying? That's it. Coon, this is Fepes. The new kid got the intel from Classy. Not bad, new kid. What'd you find out? It's the you store it in the northeast of town. Classy says the cats are being taken there. The you store it. We should have known. All right, keep Classy safe. I'll get back to you guys soon. Roger that. Fast pass. Uh, uh. Fast pass. Uh, uh. Fast pass. Uh, uh, uh. Fast pass. Fast pass. Fast pass out.
Hey, kid. You're that farting vigilante from the news, right? Not a talker, eh? Well, Sergeant wants to have a few words with you over at the station. Oh, uh, hey, new kid. Yeah, uh, so it turns out gender is actually a little more, uh, complicated than what we talked about yesterday. Okay, um, could you come back to my office so we could sort this out, maybe? Uh, okay, thanks. Okay. Oh, great. Thanks for coming. Have a seat. I got some, uh, some feedback from the principal that uh, our discussion about sex, I, I mean about gender, wasn't uh, precise enough. And, uh, well, he, he gave me some guidelines how to do a more uh, uh, thorough pass, helping you identify your gender. Okay. Is the gender that you were assigned with at birth the gender that you currently identify with? Okay, oh, okay great. So as you know, that means that you're cisgendered. Okay, great. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about with your gender is your sexuality. Now, a lot of people think that gender and sexuality are the same, but no, that's bi. That's wrong. It's bi. Okay. Now, how would you describe the sex of the kinds of people you find yourself, uh, sexually attracted to? Okay, so that makes you straight or heterosexual. Okay. Well, I'm really glad we had this talk, okay? Just be careful, okay? Because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're going to have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime. Oh, oh, what do we have here? You're the one who made the news last night, huh? Well, the police can always use the help of concerned citizens. I guess we can give our little junior detective a special kitty case to work on. All right, listen up. There's somebody new to town shaking up the crime families. This is a real bad dude. A kingpin of crime who wants to control all the drugs in the city. We've tracked him to this location here. I need you to go in and neutralize him. You lead point, my boys will be there after. If you take out the drug kingpin, we'll give you this junior detective badge. Pretty neat, huh? Now get out there! So exactly why are you wandering around the police station? Do you have information about who's behind the big crime wave in South Park? I understand how this attention must be scary for you. You know what else is scary? Choking on Jared's $5 footlong. <laughs> I wrote that myself. I actually do stand-up on the weekends. Here's my headshot. You know, with this crime wave, I'm looking for work. You take my headshot around town, and I'll let you see what's in my bottom drawer here in my desk. Want to see what's in my bottom drawer? Huh? Where's that smile? Go ahead, get my headshot out there, and I'll give you a treat. Hey, you help me out, I help you out. Okay, you're approaching the hideout. Find a way in, but be careful. He's probably armed to the teeth. Thermal imaging is showing the suspect is in the rear of the house. You should have him in sight. Hey, who are you? What are you doing in my house? Engage! Engage! Holy shit, you're the real deal, superhero. That's one less violent degenerate this town has to deal with. Please come by and help us again. Hey, little crime stopper, back for more? I got something you might be interested in. Turns out that scum you fucked up is just the low guy on the totem pole. We now believe the real kingpin is over here, on your phone, that I'm holding right now. Thanks for letting me hold your phone to show you this. He's hiding out in some big luxury mansion bought with blood money, scumbag. This is a whole nother level, little crime fighter. His house is like a fortress. Every window and door is wired to a state-of-the-art, high-tech security system. You'll need this. This mobile hacking device will help you bypass the security system. Good hunting, hero. Hey, superhero. Looks like the guard is on a piss break or something. Proceed past the gate and around the back to find an entry point. Not this time, sir. Not this time. Please move the fuck along or I will fuck you up non-lethally. I will beat you until my shift is over, sir. You just assaulted an officer of the lawn. Uh. lord's coming out blasting. Yeah. Yeah. Put this on your goose dress. Yeah. Uh. Now go tell everyone you cut yourself manscaping. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. 
Oh my god. I've had it with this dick. Yes. Uh -huh. Not the you dog. The wrong tree. Ah. Get your mom to kiss that boo boo. The child. You couldn't sleep that night, but it was because you saw strange lights in the sky. You walked to the mirror. And in the mirror, you saw a kid who maybe wasn't from this world. And that's when you heard it. Strange alien sounds from the hallway. You walked out and saw two intruders and an alien in your house. You had to stop them, so you called upon your new powers. As an assassin hero, you sharpened your blades and prepared to do what you do best. Kill. Hey, that kid has a knife. Oh shit, seriously? Even as he lost blood, the intruder swung his crowbar wildly at your face. Uh... Your spin slash sends a fury of piercing knives in all directions. What hit him? Damn. He slinked back into the shadows. That kid's like some kind of super assassin. The alien took you by the hand and led you into a dark room. And that's when you saw that your dad had just fucked your mom. Whoa, boy, that is pretty tragic, new kid. I'm so sorry. Were the aliens helping you by? Showing you who fucked your mom, or were they trying to make you full of rage? You might never know. All right, get back out there, Butt Lord. You still have a lot of things to do. New kid, this is Fast Pass. Get to the playground. One of the Freedom Pals is calling us out. My parents sure, totally one of the Freedom Pals wants night. to meet it with us. Hilarious. Yeah, his text said it was very urgent. Yeah, but why would the Freedom Pals want to talk to us? Unless this is some kind of trap. Relax, coon friends. I didn't come to fight. Hello, Toolshed. Long time no see. Toolshed is a gadget tier class visionary archetype. And a butt-fucking traitor. Just listen to me. I understand that the new kid helped take my dad's keys last night. New kid, I don't know why you were looking out for my dad, but I owe you one. That's all I came to say. You might be in the wrong franchise, but if you ever need help, I'll return the favor. Ha ha! Ah! You think the new kid fucking cares about you? You belong to a loser, zero-income franchise that's run by a douchebag in a wheelchair! At least he's not a fat little phone stealer. Oh, not him again. Timmy! You call us losers when the only way you can get a lead is to steal it? Where is Dr. Timothy's phone? Sorry, freedom pussies. That info is classified. <laughs> you guys need to stop investigating the Chamber of Commerce and leave it to the professional superheroes. Oh yeah, you guys are the professional superheroes. It just so happens, Mysterion, that we already have a connection with Netflix. No, you don't. Yes, we do. We're just about to get the Human Kite Netflix series off the ground, so... No, Timmy, no. No, stop it. Stop, stop, stop it, Timmy! He's trying to rape my mind! Ah! Ah! They don't have a connection at Netflix. Freedom Pals just raped my mind, you guys! Let's get these pedophiles! Coon and friends assemble! Freedom Pals, unite! Civil War II is going down! You're outmatched. Give up before you embarrass yourself. You wield those tools like a surgeon. Suck on that, camel pal. Way to use your head. Next time, try putting a little heart into it. Get key. Fucked up there, dude. Damn. Take a fist fight. Not bad, Super Craig, but try not to slouch next time. I'll leave. That's how Captain Diabetes deals with personal space invaders. Take a fist punch a rule. 
This might sting. Arr, fucked by the long dong of justice. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that is twice we kicked your asses. You guys are nothing without the new kid, and you know it. New kid, my offer stands. I still owe you one. And if you ever want to be part of a real franchise, just call me. Yeah, right. You guys are DC Comics. We're Marvel. Fucking asshole, you guys have Zack Snyder direct your fucking movie. Houston, all coon friends. We have the information we need and are ready for our next mission. Everyone report to the coon lair immediately. Coon out. There you are. Jesus, took you long enough. Have a seat, butt lord. All right, everyone. Butt lord interrogated Classy and found out our next lead is at the U store it here in town. We need to infiltrate it tonight. It can't be done. Why not, Mosquito? Because the U-Stored entrance is all lava. The whole thing is fucking lava? Shit! There has to be a way to get past it. There is... Tool Shed. Tool Shed? What's that donkey fucker have to do with anything? Tool Shed has a device that clears lava, remember? It's one of his superpowers. Hey, and Tool Shed said that he owes the new kid a favor. Well, looks like you're gonna come in handy again, butt lord. Super Craig, write an anonymous email to Tool Shed. Tell him the new kid is ready to have his favor return. Everyone else, go home and get in bed. We meet at the U store at tonight. To bed, everybody! <laughs> Coon friends are on the cake. Go on home, butt lord. If all goes according to plan, Tool Shed will meet up with you later. Just be careful. Tool Shed is a two-faced, backstabbing butt sniffer. Why would you tell the school principal what race we are? I didn't tell him, our child did! But you confirmed it when the principal called you! How long before they find out everything? Our little boy is hurting, don't you get it? He's asking questions about his race and sexual orientation because he's confused. Confusion was the point! The more our child learns about the truth, the more dangerous it becomes, you stupid whore! Now, hey, look who's here. Been out playing, little squirt? <laughs> Your dinner is on the table, pumpkin, then straight to bed. You have school tomorrow. <laughs> school tomorrow. <laughs> Don't even think of getting high right now. Whatever's in these things are making you crazy! Crazy? Like telling the world who our child is that we took so long to hide? Hey, kiddo, listen. I know we never talked about it, but your mother and I are very proud Japanese. Night, night, punk. Night falls upon the town like a fat, slimy turd. The stink of greed, corruption, and crime rises from the gutters and fills the streets. Only one thing can deal with fat turds. Cutie friends. Hashtag. This has been way funnier than I thought it would ever be. We're going to have to watch the rest of this. Twisms!